Steve, congratulations. Uh, only the second time you've made the third round of the Challenge Cup. Oh, yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah, and thank you. And I think it's the first time we beat the Army in about three to, to four years. So, yeah, we're, it's a great day for us. And to do it in the manner you did, coming back from 10 points down deep into the game as well, just showed the resilience of your boys. Oh, yes. And, and, and like you say, we just had that feeling. Even when you look at our bench, we had two combined service players on there. Our bench was gone. Uh, we had no replacements, but that feeling we've got within them, we, we, we knew it was coming, it was just when it was going to come. And luckily it did in uh, extra time. Uh, your front row are magnificent today. Oh, James Parry, uh, Jonathan Griffiths, they, they go every day uh, and they'll go for 80 if I let them. And James Till's a great addition to that front row. Just he, This is his first season, it's his third game he's played and he's got a really long future hopefully with us. Uh, looking forward now, where do you want to go in the next round? I don't think we're, we're too fussed with military rugby, it's, it's more about just getting back together so these lads know that in two weeks time they get to uh, share the change, changing room together and have a good good couple of days on, on the paddock and that's what military rugby is about, it's, we'll play anybody because it means we get together. Can't see it being a quiet bus on the way back to Portsmouth tonight. No, I think I'll be going back in the car, uh, but no the lads it won't be a quiet one. <laughs>